Chairman Manuel Gregorian, an MP from the Republican Party of Armenia faction and chairman of the Yergrabah Volunteer Union, was detained on Saturday and within the framework of the criminal case that was filed into the finding of illegal weapons and ammunition in his summer residence. The National Security Service on Sunday disseminated footage in which food, medicine and personal hygiene products which Armenia school children and some other individuals had sent for military servicemen as assistance were discovered at his house. A second criminal case on charges of embezzlement also was opened. Prosecutor General Arthur Davtian on Monday petitioned the Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan with a request for launching a special session of the parliament to debate on the Attorney General's petition to starting a procedure to get parliamentary consent for launching a criminal process prosecution against Gregorian. Later in the day, it was informed that the Armenian parliament will convene a respective special session on Tuesday. Talking to reporters on Monday, the National Security Service Director, Arthur Van Aetian, said Gregorian will not be released. The Bulgarian parliament has ratified the EU-Armenia Comprehensive and Enhanced Partnership Agreement, the SIPA. In a statement issued on Monday, the Bulgarian embassy in Yerevan said they were looking forward to continue working with the Armenian partners for SIPA's implementation. The agreement has already been ratified by the parliaments of Latvia, Lithuania, Estonia and Poland. At present, there is no clear arrangement with respect to a meeting between the four ministers of Armenia and Azerbaijan, spokesperson for Armenian Ministry of Foreign Affairs Dikran Balayan said. In his words, if a final agreement is reached, the place and date of this talk will be notified in advance. And when asked about the supplying of the Polonaise Belarusian multiple launch rocket system to Azerbaijan, Balayan said Armenia does not consider satisfactory Belarus's response to the matter of arms supply to Azerbaijan. A group comprising 25 permanent representatives from the OSCE is on a visit to Armenia. The group, led by Veronique Roger Lacan, was received by Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. The Prime Minister presented his views on holding a snap parliamentary election, making amendments to the electoral code, combating against corruption, improving the business climate, and fighting against monopolies in Armenia. He also touched upon the negotiation process to resolve the Karabakh conflict. The OSCE delegation, in turn, reaffirmed this organization's readiness to develop and deepen cooperation operation with Armenia in order to assist in the Armenian government's reforms. Armenia's Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan visited Artsakh on Saturday. During his trip, Pashinyan and Artsakh President Pako Sahakyan visited the military outposts of the Artsakh army units located in the eastern direction of the line of contact. Also, the Armenian Prime Minister held consultations at the headquarters of the Artsakh Defense Army. 